Well, happening today, NASA is launching a weather satellite into orbit. It's called the GOES-T, and it's going to track weather patterns and natural disasters like wildfires and much, much more. And luckily, we have an expert on the topic with us today, NOAA and NASA meteorologist Jordan Girth is here. He's joining us from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And Jordan, thank you for time, or thank you for taking some time for us today. These are vitally important satellite images that we use every day here at KCTV5 to help forecast the weather. What can you tell us about this new satellite that's going into orbit today? Uh, called GOES-T. Well, the GOES-T satellite is a continuity of our geostationary satellites that NOAA and NASA use to monitor the weather. So what that means for the public, and particularly there in Kansas City, is that we will be able to continue to provide the most accurate warnings and forecasts coming from the National Weather Service and from uh, the local TV stations. Why is it so important that it's a geostationary orbit? How does that help with weather prediction and gathering weather data? The geostationary orbit is a very special orbit for meteorologists because it is sitting 22,200 miles off the surface of the Earth and it orbits with the Earth, so it's always looking in the same place. This GOES-T satellite is going to be positioned over the West Coast to provide imagery of Pacific storms moving to moving to the contiguous United States. Now, at the beginning of this year, we saw a very violent volcanic eruption off of the coast of Tonga. We could see a lot of that with our visible imagery here uh, off of satellite data. How will this new satellite be able to help when we see additional natural disasters like this occur? Well, the great thing about the GOES series of satellites, including GOES-T, is it can take imagery every 30 seconds. So whether it's a volcanic eruption or a rapidly developing thunderstorm over the central United States, we're going to see indications of that at the very early stages with this GOES-T series satellite. Well, Jordan, you're down there on the Cape. There's launch is scheduled for a little bit later on this afternoon. I kind of showed a quick picture, a snapshot of some weather conditions down there. Everything looking okay for launch today? We're really looking forward to launch. We have a 80% chance that we are going to go up today. The weather is looking good, and uh, we're hoping that that holds, and uh, we will have goes T in space uh, later today. One final question. As soon as it gets up there, how fast will it be able to start submitting data and how fast will that usable data be made possible or made uh, public to like stations that we can use and pass on? Sure. So right now we're planning on getting the satellite in orbit within about 20 days or so. We will have data available starting in August and uh, the satellite will be uh, uh, fully operational, as we call it, starting in January. So a very quick timeline, and uh, it will be serving the public and serving TV stations uh, within the next few months. Fully operational, making it sound like the Death Star up there. But, uh, <laughs> well, Jordan, thank you so much for your time. We're definitely going to be watching later this afternoon as Ghost T slips the surly bonds of Earth and heads for st the stars and starts sending us that uh, meteorological data that we can use here at KCTV5. Again, thanks for your time.